This is where John Glenn took off into the first manned orbital mission for the United States. Using 3D laser scanning technology, a team of researchers from the Alliance for Integrated Spatial Technologies at the University of South Florida is focusing their cutting edge instruments on Cape Canaveral to document and preserve space history in Florida. The team is working in collaboration with the U.S. Department of Defense and the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, scanning six locations to develop a digital documentation and virtual tour of Cape Canaveral. This launch pad hasn't been used in decades, so uh, we have come out to preserve it virtually and to be able to really save it for future generations so they can see what it looks like today. To the crews now preparing to launch. The Mercury mission launched in 1962 from one of the most famous locations, Launch Complex 14. The first American to orbit the Earth was launched 20 feet from where we're standing right now. The launch pad is more than 50 years old and is in better condition today than most of the other launch sites because of its historical significance. Like all of the structures lining the Cape, it's been weathered and degraded by the salt air from the Atlantic Ocean, less than 200 yards away. That's where Mission Control was, where you remember looking at the original footage, you see all of the men in white shirts and ties sitting behind computers, banks, that's where that took place. The dome structures, or blockhouses, were built to withstand the incredible force of liftoff and had periscopes sticking out of the top to view the missile and rocket launches. The equipment that we're using can capture everything that is visible, everything that you can see, to an accuracy of uh, two millimeters or less. The team is scanning the site with extreme detail to digitally conserve and preserve the historic landmarks. But also help the present with understanding them better. When you look at these sites, you really can't appreciate maybe what they are. You see them from one perspective. We're able to, through these technologies, allow us to see whole areas, wide areas, understand things in a little bit different ways, and certainly present them digitally to the public in different ways. Many of the architectural aspects of the buildings are unique to Cape Canaveral. We're here at Launch Complex 2122 on Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. This is one of the few buildings of its type in the world, if not the only one left in the world. They actually launched the missile out of the building. They would put the missile into the building from the front, the east side. They would roll up the doors and load it like a muzzle loader or a cannon. And there was a cradle in there and then they would launch the MACE missile out of the building there. And you can see the exhaust tubes behind us. Tom Penders, archeologist and cultural resources manager for Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, says the scanning project will change the way we all view the site. Well, it's not just important for Florida history, it's for our nation's history as well. I mean, we put people in the space. The entire space program started here in Florida. We have a space program because of Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and Kennedy Space Center. This structure behind me actually was associated with the Minuteman missile complex activities that went on out here at Cape Canaveral. So we're documenting these in an effort to preserve them for the future. We're also bringing this same data back to the classroom and we're able to actually virtually kind of bring students out with us on a project and we can kind of use this as a, a way to, to really learn and explore Florida history and our nation's history. Digital preservation of the one-of-a-kind buildings located on Cape Canaveral before they are completely lost is vitally important to our nation's history. We're actually standing on sort of hollow ground. Right out here in this field area is actually the buried remains of the Challenger debris. They actually placed it in the silo associated with this building. And so this is a, a really important place, a landscape, if you will. And the way that we're documenting this includes all of these landscape issues as well. The team will combine all of the media with the 3D models into a platform, creating a virtual tour of Cape Canaveral providing a valuable tool to learn about our nation's space history.